Yeah, I was extremely excited because uh, we, we finally got the sub uh, in the water. And most importantly, the thing that excited me was the fact that a lot of our students got a chance to get in there and uh, try it out, try to drive it around and uh, see how they, they feel and imagine what they can do with this. Going out today has kind of stimulated the discussion for how we could use this as a platform in the future. You know, I study benthic organisms, I study sea scallops, so I'm thinking, ooh, could we bring this to my study site? You know, could we see scallops on the seafloor? You know, how could this be used at any of the projects here at UD? So it's an interesting um, first look into what we could possibly use it for. My experience today was really unique. I think I was really lucky to be able to go down the submersible. Um, we just went out to the outer wall right here in the Delaware Bay. Um, we took a look you know, at the wall with our sonar. We were able to get a glimpse of it. We did get to see some of the bed forms that were on the, on the seabed. Um, and it was my first time in a submersible, so it was really exciting. My favorite part was probably being able to operate the radio up to the, up to the surface vessel. That was fun. Neighbor, neighbor, this is Cyclops, comms check. I think this was definitely a highlight here, uh, you know, during my time here as a student. It's not something that is very common, so I feel really lucky to have had this experience um, just to be able to get out there at least once.